Recently here on the channel, there's been a lot of interest into my 3D printed bricks. So I thought we'd take a look at a few different things. Are they cheaper than buying Lego bricks? Are they legal? And are they any better than actual Lego bricks? So first off, are they legal? Well, they're definitely a legal Lego technique because they take a lot of stress off my bank account. But as long as you are not selling the official patented Lego design, which we've been over a few times before on the channel, it has changed over the years. Technically, you can sell any form of building block you would like. It just has to be your own design. You can pretty much do whatever you want with them. But the real question I think we have to ask is, is it better to 3D print Lego than to go out and either pick a set up in store, we all know that's not gonna be the cheapest one, or to buy bricks off Bricklink, which is probably the cheapest place you can pick up Lego nowadays. And for some bricks like Modulex that haven't been sold for so, so long. I think the answer is pretty clear. So let's start there. Before we start, I'd just like to make you aware we are running out of space on the members board. Once this is filled, this will be a permanent part of my Lego display and we can fit about nine more names. So if you do wanna become a member, be sure to join soon so you get your name on the very first Master Moldy members board. And then once this is filled, there will be another one if you want to join later on. So because Modulex is no longer being sold by Lego, I'm not gonna go back and tell you what they did sell for. That information is out there on the internet. But right now, you can pick up a white two by four Modulex brick for 78p. Well, there are a few different colors and it's a bit hard to find the average across all of the colors, but I'm trying to stick to white as that is what I printed my bricks in. Now, when I loaded this up on my bamboo, ready to print. It told me it would cost two pence, but it also gives you the weight, which for this is 0.75 grams. It's not even a gram of plastic. That weight will differ with ABS plastic. These have all been printed in PLA. And if you did want to print them in ABS, the cost will actually not be too different to PLA, but it's gonna cost you a lot more in your printing equipment. For instance, both 3D printers that I have purchased have been about one to 200 pound, and that is what you're looking at for an affordable printer without any big attachments, just to be able to print a few Lego bricks at home. And I think that is well worth the money. Based on the weight I spend, about 15 pound per spool, it tends to be a lot closer to that 10 pound mark than 20 pound, but that gives me a cost for this brick of 1.125 pence, we're gonna call it a penny, but with a kilogram spool of plastic, I will be able to make 1,333, and that's including the little bits left over between each print. So that means when printing a bunch of these module X size bricks, remember, we're not quite at Lego bricks yet. We'll get to that in just a second. I am saving 98.5%, a little over 98.5%, by printing these rather than purchasing them on Bricklink. And I do have to say there were a few cheaper colors and people that had like 260 of these for a lot cheaper than 70, 80 P, but no one had 1,333 in stock. So it's cheaper to 3D print Module X, but what about the classic Lego brick? Well, this Lego brick on Bricklink goes for about 11 pence in white. Rarer colors will cost a lot more but you've got to remember when you're 3D printing a Lego brick, they're all gonna cost the same no matter what color you get, unless you're trying to get a fancy translucent color, which I didn't realize was so hard to pick up. But taking this off lego.com's pick a brick, we're looking at 19 pence per brick. 11 pence isn't too far off what you'll actually pick this up for in a creative box. So I definitely recommend that rather than buying these bulk on lego.com, but it really depends on what you need the bricks for. Now we saw with the Modulex bricks that my printer predicted it would cost twice as much to print this. And it's a similar story with the Lego brick. It said that it would cost seven pence to brick, but it was only three grams. In fact, a little over three grams, 3.11 grams. And it actually cost me 4.6 pence to make each Lego brick. If we got a Lego set with 4.6 pence per the average, I think at best we're looking at a very small poly bag. And that means each kilogram spool makes 300 and 21 and a half Lego bricks. Of course, you'd probably want to change the spool before you print that half a brick, but it's nice to know. So comparing this to Bricklink, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than lego.com. Comparing it to Bricklink's 11 pence, you're saving about 60% by printing these compared to ordering these bulk on Bricklink. But of course, it does take 
time. And funnily enough, the energy the 3D printer requires really doesn't factor much into this equation. But before you 3D print a ton of these two by four bricks, let me recommend you supersize your Lego and go for something like Duplo instead, which on BrickLink costs about 88 pence per brick, which that's quite a bit of money. But it's not far off lego.com, 91 pence. So you're probably better buying these new off Lego or are you? Because my bamboo printer tells me that each of these bricks will cost me 31 pence. A Duplo brick weighs 13 and a half grams, which if you spend 15 pound on a spool of plastic would only cost you 20p, a little over half, but still 20p for a Duplo brick isn't that bad, considering Lego sells them for 91. And you're only able to make 74 of these off an actual spool. But given that these are eight times the size of a Lego brick, you'd be able to build bigger mountains with fewer plastic bricks. But we can go even bigger than Duplo bricks because I am introducing now Quattro, which is not something that is very, very common. In fact, there are no white Quattro bricks in existence. Lego only made them in red, blue, and yellow. The only new ones I could find on BrickLink were in red, £2.40 a brick, which to be fair, this is quite a sizable brick. You wouldn't be able to build a brick this big for £2.40 worth of regular Lego bricks. And if Duplo was eight times bigger than a Lego brick, and this is eight times bigger than Duplo. That means this is 64 Lego bricks. If you were to buy 64 of these, it will cost you about £3.50 compared to the £2.40 that these are selling for. But Bamboo thinks we can make this for £1.60. Well, I say we can make it for cheaper because weighing in at 70 grams a brick, which is starting to get a little bit heavy for a Lego brick, it's only actually costing £1.05 per brick, which means each spool makes about 15 of these Lego bricks, which again will stack up to a lot more than you could pile in Lego bricks. But I don't think I mentioned the Duplo bricks save you about 75, 80% compared to buying them. And these are a lot closer to Lego bricks back at that 50% mark. So if you did want to print the most efficient Lego brick, I would recommend Duplo as it's just more efficient printing Duplo bricks than Quattro, not to mention Duplo actually matches to the Lego scale. Again, you can check out my other video on that. I'll leave it on the end screen. But you can't connect Lego straight to Quattro. But we are yet to look at the biggest brick. And we'll get to it after Primo. Primo has never been sold new on BrickLink. There is one brick that has sold used. One 2x4 brick this size, not in white, for £1.5. So it really doesn't give us a good example of how much this is selling for, but that's because these are typically sold on other sites away from BrickLink in bundles with a bunch of other children's toys. So we can't get a good idea of what Lego would charge for these bricks, especially because they haven't been sold for the best part of the last three decades. My 3D printer predicts it will cost 183 to print each of these bricks, which is starting to look a bit pricey. After all, we can only print 12 and a half with each kilogram spool of plastic, but the cost is actually reduced a bit more to £1.19 for 80 grams of plastic, which isn't far off the Quattro bricks because of the different shapes and sizes and the fact that it's technically half a brick. A 2x4 in Primo doesn't exist, but you could 3D print one. And just to put into perspective the energy that the 3D printer is using, I calculated that it costs 15 pence of electricity to print this brick, which definitely does affect the price. We're seeing a increase from £1.20 to £1.35. But in that 15 pence worth of electricity, I could print so, so many Modulex bricks. And if you do pair these up and print multiple bricks at the same time, you're cutting that cost down a lot. And the reason is because the slowest the printer actually travels is vertically. So every layer is gonna take roughly the same amount of time. The speeds the printer moves at horizontally are so, so fast. So if you did want to cut back on the cost of printing, make sure you're printing multiple at each time. Now the biggest brick that I do not have to hand because it was too big to print on my printer, at least in one go, is the education brick. You cannot buy these, they are not available on BrickLink. There are a few different education bricks on BrickLink but the two by fours themselves aren't, and they are even bigger than this brick right here. To put it into perspective, I do believe they're about the size of the Primo 
brick. It predicts about £9.84 and it is a big chunk, but it's not that expensive. It would cost £6.50 and you'd be able to print two bricks with each spool of filament. So if you do want to make some massive bricks, it's going to set you back a ton of money because to be able to play with bricks, you're going to want at least a handful of them. So I definitely recommend out of all of these, trying to print some Duplo bricks. If you're trying to build big structures or if you just want to print a few Lego bricks, I definitely recommend a 3D printer. Now that is also the debate of an FDM printer or a resin printer. I went with an FDM because I prefer the strength that it holds up to against a resin printer. But resin printers are also pretty strong and it definitely depends what you want to do. I've seen a few people in the comments now say about getting a resin printer because it gets rid of the lines, which is definitely probably the biggest benefit of a resin printer. But either way, if you are deciding to get a 3D printer, let me know in the comments and I hope you have as much fun as I do printing a ton of Lego bricks that perhaps you wouldn't get your hands on unless you owned one. Check out the other video on screen now where we go over all of the different bricks and I'll let you two pick the other one based on what you watch. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did to see more of these 3D printed bricks and may the bricks be with you always.